Aloha mai kako, my name is Rel and welcome to my kitchen. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm a wife, a mom of two, and a nurse practitioner here in Hawaii. I believe in home cooked meals and spending time around the dinner table with family enjoying delicious food. Here on my channel, I like to share all my favorite recipes to help you do just that. And today, we'll be making taro chips. Taro is a popular staple root vegetable here in Hawaii used to make all types of different foods. Taro chips happens to be one of my favorite snacks and it's a good alternative to potato chips. I'd love it if you'd hit that subscribe button down below. It's free, I post new videos every week and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be updated every time I post a new video. There are many different varieties of taro. The popular variety of taro used to make taro chips is the Chinese variety. I like to use bunlong. Bunlong has a white corn uh, with purple specks in it. It's grown commonly here in Hawaii, and the nice thing is that you can find it in most grocery stores. Taro chips can be made in the deep fryer. That happens to be one of my favorite ways to do it. But if you're looking for a healthier alternative, you also can make it in an air fryer or in the oven. So, hele mai, come along and let's make some homemade taro chips. Okay, to make taro chips, you're gonna need one large taro root. You're gonna use a peeler to peel off the outer brown layer. You can also use a knife to do this. Taro has calcium oxalate crystals, which can cause skin itch. So you may wanna use some gloves when doing this portion. Then you're gonna take a mandolin, set it to the lowest setting, on mine it's 1 8 inch, and you're gonna carefully, I repeat, carefully, slice the taro slices. It's very sharp. They do make gloves that you can use to help prevent cuts from your hand. You're just gonna slide the taro root up and down to make these thin slices to create the chips. Once you've sliced all the taro, you're gonna go ahead and take a bowl of water and add salt. And then you're gonna put the taro chips into the water and let it soak for about an hour. This will prevent browning and also rinse off some of that excess starch on the taro. has completed soaking you're going to take it to the sink and drain out the water then you're going to rinse it a few times until the water starts to clear out and the slimy film on the taro is gone then take the rinsed taro chips and place it on a cooling rack over a cookie sheet to dry You can use a paper towel to help pat dry and speed up the process. Heat a large wok with the oil of your choice, I used avocado oil here, and place the chips into a single layer. You're going to fry these chips until they are golden brown and the edges start to curl. It'll take about 3-5 to five minutes. You can flip halfway through if you like. are gonna start to look like this when they're done. You're gonna take a slotted spoon and go ahead and remove the chips from the oil and place it into a bowl lined with paper towels to help catch the excess oil drips. Once you remove all the chips, you're gonna salt now. You want the chips to be warm so that the salt sticks to the chips. If you're looking for a healthier alternative, you can also bake these chips placed on a lined cookie sheet with the oil of your choice and bake at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes, flipping halfway through. When done, go ahead and salt while warm. Another cooking method is in the air fryer. Spray the basket with nonstick cooking spray and add the chips. You're going to toss it in some oil of your choice. I like to use avocado oil as I mentioned. And you're going to cook at 360 degrees Fahrenheit for about 5 minutes. You're going to toss the chips halfway between and they're going to cook until golden brown and the edges start to curl up like this. Mm -hmm. 
and that's how you make taro chips. If you like what you see, I'd love it if you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be updated every time I post a new video. And until next time, ahui ho! Thank you for watching my mom's videos.